Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be replacing the battery on the Razer E-Prime 3. This is the same process for the original E-Prime and the E-Prime Air. This process is of moderate difficulty. It should take you approximately 25 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver and a 4mm Allen wrench. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step 1, disconnecting the battery. Step 2, removing the battery. Step 3, installing your new battery. And step 4, reconnecting the battery. Now let's get started on step 1, disconnecting the battery. As with working on any electric product, always make sure to turn off the power before you begin. Most of this process is going to be done with the scooter upside down, so let's go ahead and flip it over. There are two bolts secure in the front cover. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove those bolts. Now slide the front cover straight out. Next, we need to remove the plate. There are four bolts securing it. Using your 4mm Allen wrench, remove all four bolts. These bolts have Loctite on them, so they might require a little more force to break loose. Next, we need to disconnect the throttle and brake wires. Find the connector, hinch, and separate. And do the same for the other. With the four bolts removed, we can now pull out the plate. Simply slide it up and out, and slide the wires through the plate. Now set the plate aside. Next, let's pull the grommet through the frame. Press from the bottom side and pull from the top side. And set the grommet aside. The wires coming through the frame are blocking the battery from sliding out. So let's press those wires back through the frame. Now using your Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws securing the battery. With the four screws removed, proceed to removing the six screws securing the controller tray cover. Once the screws are out, we can remove the controller tray cover, pull from the wheel side straight up, and slide it out. There's a grommet securing the wires in the back side of the tray. Slide that grommet straight up and set it aside. Find the battery plug and disconnect it by pulling straight apart. Now find the other plug coming from the battery and separate that by pinching and pulling. And the last plug we're going to disconnect is for the charging port. Find the connector, pinch, and separate. And that concludes step one, disconnecting the battery. Now on to step two, removing the battery. You're gonna wanna fold the bars so you can slide the battery and the controller tray out. The charging port sticks through the hole in the frame. Press it back through to slide the whole tray over and slide the whole tray and the battery out the front. The battery's out. and the trays out. And that concludes step two, removing the battery. Now on to step three, installing your new battery. Take your new battery, slide the wires through the hole in the battery tray. Make sure the side with the grooves is on the top. Pull the wires to the side opposite the charging port. Slide the controller tray in, followed by the battery. And that concludes step three, installing your new battery. Now onto step four, reconnecting the battery. Place the controller back in the controller tray and reconnect the battery. There are two plugs for the battery. And next, reconnect the charging port. There's only one plug for the charging port. All three plugs have different connectors, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. Now time to reinstall the grommet. 
place the wires in the back of the controller tray into the grommet and slide the grommet back on. Next, let's reinstall the controller tray cover. Slide the front end in first and press the back end down. Using your Phillips screwdriver, reinstall the six screws securing the controller tray cover. Once the controller tray cover is secure, move on to installing the four screws to secure the battery. Now we can slide the throttle and brake wire back through the frame. With the wires through the frame, let's reinstall the grommet. Place the wires in the grommet and press the grommet through the frame. Now let's reinstall the plate. Slide the wires through the hole in the plate and slide the plate back on. Reconnect the throttle and brake wires. They're both different plugs, so you can't mix them up. Now using your four millimeter Allen wrench, reinstall the four bolts securing the plate. With the plate secured, we can reinstall the front cover. You may want to fold the bars to make it easier. Just slide the front cover straight on. Using your Phillips screwdriver, reinstall the two screws that secure the front cover. With the front cover secured, that concludes step four, reconnecting the battery. Now hit that power button and make sure it works. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed our video. If you still have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact customer support at razor.com. Gotta go, Buffalo.